Hey, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to make lower thirds fast and easy. So if you don't know what lower thirds are, they're basically the little pop-up annotations that appear in a video when someone says leave a like or subscribe, hint hint, just like the one that's about to pop now. So I'm not only going to show you how to make a lower third, but I'm also going to show you how to implement them in your video by using your video editor. My video editor is Shotcut, but it works with any video editor. And before we get into this video, I just want to thank you guys again for helping reach 100 subscribers. And with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so step one is to be on Pixlr Editor. The link is down in the description, and remember guys, you can pause the video whenever you want to so you can catch up. So we're going to create a new image. Um, remember to put your presets at movie at 1080p and have it transparent don't forget that part because it's going to be very important when you're putting your lower lower third in your video so we won't we won't be able to see the background so we're going to pick the drawing tool or the shapes tool and the fill shape you can have that any color you want i'm going to have it like a kind of bluish color so if you guys didn't see my video yesterday i actually used a lower third in this bit in that video might not be great because um it was like actually my first time using it so there we have a little triangle. I did that by accident, but I mean, it's a perfect size and all. So there we have, that's actually worked out really good and I did it by accident. So now we have that um, rectangle, I mean, you can make it any size you want, but make sure it's big enough to put text inside of here. So now that we have that, we're gonna go to Google and we have to look for a like icon PNG. You can use any of these um, because we can edit them but um, yeah, make sure they're PNG because that means they're transparent and we'll be able to use them. So I already got mine. So once you got your um, icon downloaded, just go to layer, open images layer. And there is mine, okay. So the cool thing about this is that we can actually edit it. So if it's too big, we just go to layer, rasterize layer, edit, free transform, and we can actually change the size of this thing so I don't want it too small or too big I just want it to fit and that's actually a perfect fit so I'm, I'm actually just gonna put it right here and we can I'm gonna add a twist to it so the cool thing about it is guys that you can always like experiment with these like don't worry just just because it's different doesn't mean it's cool and I just it's not that bad so now we're gonna change the color pick the color of your original block and get the fill tool and just color in your hand. And now I'm just gonna move it a tad bit. There we go. Now, now that we have that settled in, if you want to add something you can, I'm actually gonna add a little um, outer glow. So you go here by layers, click this little icon and just turn on idle outer glow and I'm just gonna put it as black so you can see it a little better but you can put it at any color you want that's good enough and then I'm actually now I'm just gonna keep it at layer one first now we go to layer zero and do the same thing again add to black that is good enough so now that we have our little um hand bar there we're just gonna pick the text and the text I chose is um, the font I chose is uh, call of ops duty so if you don't know how to download a font there's uh, actually um, a site that I, I left down in the description um, called thefont.com and you can actually download any font you want so I got a uh, I got call of ops duty since it's just more popping now we got white, and I'm just gonna capitalize everything, leave a like. There we go. Gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can fit this, the size. And yeah, that's, that's actually perfect right there. So now that we have that, we're also gonna make an outer glow with this one. But you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do the same thing, black. And there, there we go, that's nice. So now that you finished your little um, 
lower third, we're gonna save it now. So we're gonna go to File, Save, and when your format has to be PNG for transparency, and your title name, and you can you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it like five. And okay, save. So now that everything is saved, the next tip I'm gonna show you how to use um, this lower third into your video. So let's get to it right now. Okay guys, so we're here in Shotcut, the video editor. So if you want to use this or you're wondering where I can get this, the download link is actually in the description below. So, and I also have an older video of how to use Shotcut video editor and how to download it if you want to check that out, link also in the description. So, at first you're going to be right here and assuming that you guys are doing it with me, I'm going to do it the slowest possible so you guys can catch up and remember you can pause the video whenever you want to. So we got this generic look and um, first most importantly we have to go to timeline and these three little bars and we have to add our tracks. So assuming that you're actually making a video with audio, we're going to add an audio track. So the audio track is for um, if you want to do a voiceover or for music, I use it I use it for music. So we're just going to leave it there. We're not really going to use it in this video. So we're going to open it again and add a video track. And that's where the main video is going to be. And the most importantly, we have to go again and we have to put insert a track. Insert track. And this is where the little picture is going to be at the lower third. So we got all of these. And actually, let's go open the files. So we're going to choose a random video. I'm going to just choose this one. And we're going to get our lower third also. So where is it? So I think it was like like five. There we go. And there we go. Okay. I'm gonna open. Whenever you have your um, V2, the second track right here, make sure it's on um, disable composition. Make sure it's on one layer instead of three layers because if it's on three layers, um, you will be able to see the black screen. So we just want it on one layer. Okay. So let's click on our video and a little helpful tip guys, if you want to trim your video, you can actually pull these little bars and you can trim it inward or outward. So what, whatever, wherever you want it. Whenever you have your precise, your preferred trim video, all you have to do now is just click on the video and drag it into your video track and make sure it's the white is hitting the border. So that's what we got there. So let's put the video all the way to the beginning so that's what we have there let me make this a little bit more bigger all right let's zoom out there we go perfect size so now that we have that we're gonna add our lower third so this is, is our like on um, the one that you just made so all we have to do is click on it and we're gonna actually overwrite it so let's see right here so mo when you're giving your introduction in your video um when i say you guys leave a like down there i basically put this towards the um uh towards the beginning of the video or the end whenever i give my signature sign off so you see how we have it right here it's actually it's actually right here and it's transparent so if we actually put this to three it's gonna turn on dark and we add it to one you'll be able to see the main video and the lower third so let's just play out this real quick let's see so one main problem shotcut has that they don't have transitions so it's just gonna appear just like that and it's gonna pop out really fast and it's not like a really smooth transition so I actually had it for a long time and there it just pops right out and I don't really like it like that I actually want it to have a um, transition where it fades in or fades out and I actually want to do a rolling text so it would just pop out right here and then it will just pop back in and you actually actually can make the duration of it so I would just make it very like a very small right here and then we'll just play it back so if you guys like it like that bland, I mean, it, everyone's choice, but I don't really like it like that. Unfortunately, um, there we go, and then it would end right now. Unfortunately, Shotcut doesn't have transitions for one solo clip like this. Um, 
I don't know when are they gonna add it, but they do have transitions between videos, so you have to have two videos to add it. But one thing I have noticed that I could add is just all you have to do is click on the track, this little picture to a red border, go to filters, add filter, and when you're, ed and when you're editing the video, it actually like appears really slow. But once you're done editing and you're done exporting, it's actually like really smooth. So you have to put fade in video and fade out video. And this is only going to affect the little lower third. So it's going to be like really slow. Like that is going to come out really slow. That happens to all of us. Don't worry. But once you're done exporting and everything is going to come really smooth. And I actually have an example of that um, on one of my videos. So we're just going to slide in so I can show you what the video looks like when they have its lower third. Okay guys, so we're here we at the video I was telling you guys. Um, the example of the lower third. So this is basically a pretty smooth transition compared to the one when you're editing. So don't freak out if it's too slow during editing. Um, once we get all this fixed up and exported, the transition is going to be really smooth. So I have an example for you right now. Boom. And it leaves out and cuts to the next scene so if you guys want to watch that one more time I'll just put it from 20 and wait for it and it comes on and goes away and on to the next scene so yeah guys that's how it will look if you have your um, video and you add your little third if you're using shortcut it will appear a little slow during editing but at the end it will look similar to this but i do hope that um shortcut actually makes some transitions like a roll in effect and roll back effect because i mean the fade in and fade out it does, just doesn't cut it anymore so yeah guys this is pretty much it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thank you again for 100 subscribers guys I'm just really excited and really pumped in making new videos and you can got you guys can expect more videos especially one on Monday so yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching this tutorial guys and don't forget guys we're all beginners because we can always learn something new each day so that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching and see you on the next one